planet-sized sunspot has grown 10 times in just a few days and it's aimed right at our Earth. Again, we have such tremendous solar activity. It seems as every second day we have a solar storm and flare uh, going at, out at us. It's possible that the area may deliver us some surprise solar flares, according to space weather. The sunspot that's pointed straight towards Earth is fast expanding and has been seen by scientists. The sunspot has the potential to send an attack of solar energy right our way in the coming days. A few days ago, the sunspot, which was given the destination designation AR3085 after the active region of the sun in which it was first formed, was hardly a blip on the radar. According to space weather, it's now increased in size by a factor of 10, transforming into a pair of sunspots that each measure almost as far as the circumference of our Earth. The animation illustrated the progression of the sunspot over the course of about two days. And here's the animation of it from Space Weather, the strip. According to Space Weather, a number of solar flares, which are huge bursts of electromagnetic radiation that snap off from the surface of the sun and blast forth into space, have been spotted crackling in the area. The solar flares are a type of solar activity that can be dangerous to our Earth if they are large enough. The good news is that all of the flares are occurring right now below the C-class, which is the weakest of the three classes of solar flares that government satellites monitor. In most cases, flares of A, B, and C classes are not powerful enough to have a discernible effect on Earth. According to NASA, flares of the X-class have the potential to cause widespread radio blackouts, damage satellites, and knock out the ground-based power grids. If the spots continue to enlarge over the next several days, it's possible they could emit more powerful flares that will go towards Earth. It could put satellites and communication systems in jeopardy. There is not, however, an immediate threat at this time. And according to Space Weather, the Geomagnetic Storm Watch update, today's M-class solar flare described below hurled an, a CME into space. NOAA analysts have determined that it will likely hit Earth's magnetic field during the late hours of August 28th, that's tomorrow. The glancing blow could, break, uh, could spark G1-class geomagnetic storms. Storm conditions could stretch into August 29th, uh, that is, of course, Monday, especially if the stream of high-speed solar wind arrives as expected. The gaseous material is flowing from a southern hole in the sun's atmosphere, and uh, the strip as we see, the explosions continue. For the second day in a row, the sun is crackling with M-class solar flares. The strongest today so far is an M4-class flare from perpendicular sunspot AR3088. The blast sent out towering shock waves through the sun's atmosphere, recorded by NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory. Shock waves like this one usually hurl a CME into space, and indeed SOHO coronagraphs have detected a CME emerging from the blast site. Initial NOAA models suggest it will sideswipe Earth's magnetic field during the late uh, hours of August 28th. Meanwhile, sunspot AR3088 is growing. It seems to uh, be poised to unleash an X flare uh, so we have to stay tuned about this. I'll leave links below for you for this on Minds Unleashed and Space Weather. Please, be your, please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.